it's not hard to find your, your slip there on the court on the internet <laughs> and all over the place and counting down to this and that. It, it, just a couple days after, your thoughts, I mean, you, you seem to take it really well at the time, certainly. Well, not a whole lot you can do about it. I mean, I fell down and it wasn't like, okay, I'm going to get up real quick and no one's going to see it. <laughs> so. It's just the way it goes. If I was 25, 30 years old, I'd probably be really embarrassed by it. But at this stage, whatever. <laughs> Have you guys said anything to you about it? Oh, yeah. They've said stuff. Everybody said stuff. I got a text, like, middle of the night from a kid we were recruiting out of New York back in the fall who signed somewhere else. And, uh, you know, he's a good kid and got to know him well through the recruiting process. And he made fun of me. But uh, that's all right. That's the way it goes. The lighter notes. <laughs> There's, there's been a lot of uh, stuff out there nationally. You can search it on YouTube when, Ken, when Coach fell the other night. Your, your thoughts, did you see it? I mean, well, you guys talked about it. It was just kind of a funny moment. I was right in front of him, and I didn't know what to do. I didn't know, like, whether to help him out. Because I seen the, my situation, I seen him call the timeout. So when I seen him call the timeout, I was walking over. But the ref didn't hear him, and he just made sure because it was real loud in the crowd. But I think that's one of the longest skin marks from a shoe I ever seen on a basketball court. You know, so uh, hopefully he might get on the not top 10 and we might see that, you know, next time in film, just on what not to do on footwork. But I mean, good thing, you know, Brock helped him up and he laughed it off. He got up pretty quick because, you know, most people his age wouldn't get up from a fall like that. <laughs> so, and that we could laugh about that, yeah.